you. I know how to use this thing. Hello there, my name is Lauren, and yes, it has been a while. It's been a very long while, uh, two, almost three months, but I'm here, I'm still alive. None of y'all cared if I was dead or not. That's okay, though. And well, my hair, though, it's, it's more blonde and it's more white and it's more what I wanted the first time I tried to bleach my hair and y'all know how that went. Let me just tell you how dead my hair feels. I am so upset. Go get it professionally done, okay? This was a disaster for my hair. Yeah, so I got my hair really like white and really how I wanted it. However, it is still kind of yellowy like um, at the roots, like, like the toner just didn't really like onto my roots like how it was supposed to but it's okay there is a spot back here though that is like really yellow because i messed up and yes i did do it myself because i never learned but yes so uh new hair who this so i kind of want to go through kind of how i got it to this because i did it myself i did do it myself and it worked out this time mostly for some reason monday night i bleached my hair i bleached mo like all of my hair and including all my roots too as you can see um, and it went really yellow except for where it had already been bleached that was like pretty white and how I wanted it And it was like getting really late and I had school the next day So I was like, I'll just wear a hat tomorrow So I wore a hat, I tried to put a whole bunch of purple conditioner in my hair because I didn't have a toner Which was a really big mistake Always, always make sure you have toner, okay, please <laughs> I went to school Tuesday with yellowy hair, wore a hat, or I wore a beanie actually And my hair looked like buttered popcorn Like you know those, uh, uh, jelly, jelly beans? the buttered popcorn ones. That's what my hair looked like. It legit just looked like that. And so there was like a spot back here that was like really orange because it was the last part that I put bleach on. And so it didn't process it for as long as the rest of the spots. And so it was just like really orangey and kind of just gross and still is. And so then I got home from school on Tuesday. I immediately went to my bathroom put more bleach on more of just my roots and then parts of the rest of my hair that were still really orange. This is the bleach that I used, by the way. Okay, bye. And then after I like washed that out, it was still yellowy. I think I have a picture right here of how it looked after, um, before I toned it. And so it looks like that. And then I was like, okay, hey, I need to get a uh, toner. So I looked at people who had bleached, who had uh, gotten this platinum hair, like themselves and how they did it and the kind of like platinum hair that I really wanted. And they all used the Wella T18 toner. And so that's what I used. So I got like this. And so I went to Walmart. They didn't have it. They were supposed to have it. That's what uh, that's what Google said. But they didn't have it there. And if they did, I couldn't find it. So then I went over to Sally's and I just bought that. And that was great. Um, so then I bought that, went home, immediately just slapped it all onto my head. Um, and then I washed it out and now it's like this. So yeah, and but for some reason it just did not stick to my roots. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it is my roots and so it's just like harder for it to do that. If I should have like put it all on my roots first and then on the rest of my head, but I didn't do that. I kind of just like lathered it on and all this other stuff, but it worked out okay. And I'm hoping that uh, after I wash it a few more times and after this kind of starts to wash out and I have my purple shampoo. And so hopefully that'll like kind of even everything out because the first time I got my hair done and I got it fixed professionally it was still kind of patchy in areas and then after I like washed it a bit with used purple shampoo it all kind of like evened out and it looks fine like after a while so I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen now and yes my hair is still all there um I lose a lot of hair anyways like I just ran my fingers through my hair and got some hair I bleached my hair twice using the L'Oreal Paris thingy that mess they bleached it once at the salon after that uh later uh recently i guess like i think it was before christmas break i don't remember though i went to the salon again because my roots were like really grown out and i just wanted them to be like up a bit more um and they did they basically just did some like streaking uh balayage type thing and i didn't really like how it looked so that's why i went like full on platinum now which like it didn't look bad it just wasn't like what i really wanted and so they bleached most of my hair so that's kind of like a half and then i bleached my whole head again um the first time to get it like this and then i bleached most of it again so i guess that's five times if you count those two halves of a time that's wonderful <laughs> it doesn't feel extra like it doesn't feel as bad as it did when i did it with the l'oreal and so yeah so it's been a while i hope y'all had a wonderful halloween thanksgiving and christmas <laughs> i hope your new year's going great too mine's going 
okay. And yeah, and make sure to follow me on all my social media. All the links will be down in the description. <laughs> all of the links will be down in the description box below. If the links don't work, I have my username there. Sometimes the links like mess up and it's just really weird. So sometimes they don't work. I don't know how to fix them. I've tried re-racing and putting back in and it just doesn't work. So, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more stuff like this or other things that you just might want to see. My name is Lauren. Um, I'm white. Bye! So this is like the creepiest thing that I have. It is a, like, it's like a mannequin stand type thing. But I have this horse mask or the unicorn. And like I had it like facing this way, but then my brother moved it to where it was like facing my bed. And it just really creeped me out. So then I faced it the other way, and this is even more creepy because now it's just like, you know, a backwards head, and that's really scary. Okay. <laughs>